the following question reads that uh, blocks PQ and R and S are made from material of the same density. So they're all the same density. Uh, so mass over volume is exactly the same. So block, block T is made from a material of twice the density of the material of the other blocks. So T has, has twice the density. And the cross-sectional area and the height of each of the blocks are shown. So uh, cross-sectional area for each of the blocks is given. Now the question is which two blocks exert uh, the same pressure on the ground. So we're going to calculate uh, the pressure on the ground by each of the blocks starting with, let's start with the first one. The first thing I'm going to assume is uh, the density is D. D is basically mass over volume. So uh, to find pressure, the formula of pressure is pressure is force over area and the force in this case, the cross sectional area is given in each case. So we don't have to worry about A. Like in the first one A is A, in the second one A is basically equal to, the cross sectional area is basically equal to 2A. So the cross sectional areas uh, are already given so I just need to substitute that in the expression and I would, I would be able to find pressure but I need to find force. For force I need to find weight of each of the block. What is the weight that is being exerted by each of the blocks? And to find weight I would need to find mass. Mass into gravity is basically weight. So, so we're going to start with the first one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find volume. So volume V for this is cross sectional area into height. That would be volume. So it's going to be H multiplied by A uh, cross sectional area into height. So we found volume. I'm going to substitute volume now into this expression. So I've done exactly this. Uh, remember uh, that if you multiply V into D, you get uh, mass. So if you multiply V into D, that you get mass. So D multiplied by V, which in this case is H into A, that would give you mass. And now I need to find uh, the force, uh, which is weight. So I'm going to multiply it by gravity. So this would be multiplied by G. So I found the force and remember pressure was force over area. What is the cross sectional area? It's A. So I'm going to divide this whole expression by A. This by A as well. So this over here. So uh, this is my uh, expression for pressure. Force which is mass into gravity and divide by the cross sectional area which is A. And you can further simplify this as well. You can get rid of the A. So it's basically, it's basically gravity into density into height. Let's quickly do the same thing for this uh, uh, second object Q as well. Uh, so the density is the same. So it's going to be uh, first find the volume. Volume is, uh, it's going to be 2A multiplied by cross sectional area into height. So it's uh, 2AH, small h. And then I'm going to uh, figure out, uh, I'm going to multiply density by volume. Uh, that would give me mass. So density by volume, it's going to be D. So D into V, which is uh, 2AH, uh, I've multiplied that and that is equal to mass. And the force would be weight. So I'm going to multiply that by gravity, both sides. So this thing would be multiplied by gravity. So this is the weight. Uh, and now pressure is force over area, so I'm going to divide it by the area. The cross section area for this is 2A, so I'm going to divide it by 2A. And if I divide it by 2A, uh, this 2A is going to get cancelled out and you're going to get uh, gravity into D into H, which is going to be your force. And what you might uh, notice is uh, that this expression uh, dividing it by 2A, the cross sectional area, this expression uh, force divided by cross sectional area comes out to be G into D density into height. Uh, the first one is the same as well, force over area, it comes out to be G into D into H. So the first two are going to exert the same, same amount of pressure. So remember this, uh, uh, the answer would be, uh, would be the first two objects P and Q, they're going to exert the same same pressure on the ground. Now you can pretty much repeat the same with these three objects but remember these three are going to get uh, give you different uh, different pressures. 
try working this out for these three objects. These two objects are also going to exert the same pressure. Remember, uh, pressure uh, force over area, cross sectional area, uh, uh, force divided by cross sectional area. It usually depends on the density, as you can see from the expression, it depends on the density. You can use the formula rho gh uh, as well over here. So rho, rho gh, uh, which is basically what you're getting over here, it's gravity into density, which is rho, into the height. So it doesn't depend on the cross-sectional area. So even if you, if you apply the formula of force over area, you're eventually going to get rho gh. So you can apply density into gravity into height. So since density and gravity and height uh, are the same for these two objects as well, uh, R and S are also going to exert the same pressure. But if you look at the options, there is no option for R and S. But there is uh, an option for, uh, and there is no option for P and Q as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and calculate using rho gh instead uh, of force over area because we're getting the same pressure. Rho gh for this and for this object as well, it's going to come out to be the same value and it's going to be uh, density I've taken as d, gravity is g and the height is 2h over here. So uh, these two objects have the same pressure, these two objects are, are exerting the same pressure but there are no options given for P and Q and uh, R and S. So we're going to now try and calculate the uh, pressure exerted by this object and again I'm going to use uh, rho into g into height rho gh. So it's going to be density is uh, I've taken as d, gravity is g and, uh, and remember this particular block had twice the density. Somewhere it was mentioned over here. It was mentioned that it had twice the density of the material of the other blocks. So the density would be 2D in this, in this case, it's twice the density plus uh, uh, the height is H, so it's going to be into height. So this would be the density for this object and if you compare this one, uh, T and uh, these two uh, objects also had exactly the same expression for, dens uh, for pressure. So, so T is going to have similar pressures as R and S. So we're going to look for T now in our uh, in our answers. So there is an option given T and S. So option number D is going to be it's going to be correct. All the other options are incorrect. We can also have a look Q and S. Uh, Q and S have different expressions for pressure. Q and R also different expressions. Uh, P and T. P and T also have different. This is uh, G into D into H. This is 2D into G into H. So the final uh, answer, correct answer is going to be option D.